On Friday morning, the Army Corps of Engineers will once again begin emptying out Lake Okeechobee. Water will rush through the floodgates on both coasts, like right here at the St. Lucie Lock. And with it, this toxic green algae. I said it was kind of messy. I wouldn't want to be swimming in it. <laughs> Tests show this algae stewing in front of the St. Lucie Lock and Dam is 15 times as toxic as what the World Health Organization considers hazardous. This will shoot through these gates at 7 a.m. and head downstream. Cities along the St. Lucie River, like Stewart, have seen this before. Already signs of algae are in the river, even though it's been two weeks since the floodgates have been reopened. The Army Corps of Engineers are forced to flush out Lake Okeechobee to lower the water level and reduce stress on the surrounding dike. Instead of opening wide, though, the Corps has a new plan of pulse releases. The hope is by opening and closing the gates often, nature can have time to clean up the mess caused by man. In Stewart, Florida for AccuWeather, I'm Jonathan Petromala.